G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures Tech Talk. I've been out chasing cod on the lakes over the last week and I thought it would be a great opportunity to run you through the rods, reels, lures I like to use, a bit about the boat setup and a couple other key items I think are very important when you're out chasing cod on the lake. So firstly, taking a look at rods and reels. My favourite for fishing the big water is without a doubt the Akuma Komodo swimbait outfit. So it's the 801 heavy rod, so 8 foot stick, 8 to 15 kilo, match that with the 364 reel. The reel's got 50 pound platypus bionic braid, which I absolutely love. And I run an 80 pound leader for my top water fishing. Big tremor, go-to top water paddler for the lakes. And then I run exactly the same outfit um, with a swim bait on there as well. So exact same setup, 50 pound braid, 80 pound leader, beautiful outfits for fishing the big water. There's no doubt that Active target has played a huge part in lake fishing over the last few years. Um, so I run a specific outfit if I'm going to be using active target, um, which is a 701 TT Black Adder rod. So this is an 8 to 15 kilo. Um, it's a slightly lighter rod simply because you don't have as much splash because sometimes the fish will actually spook with the splash. So I've got a 274 reel, it's a slightly smaller reel. 30 pound braid, 60 pound leader, and that's great for throwing things like spinner baits um, and also swim jigs as well. Just a lighter presentation. It might not spook the fish as much if they're a little bit cagey. So if you're fishing water that's a little bit pressured, it's really good. And lastly, I really like um, when the sun's up and the prime time's gone, it's always good to pack a light spin outfit with a switch blade uh, for jigging trees for the yellows, which is a great way to spend that in between time during the middle of the day. You know, I really like to fish prime times when I'm fishing for cod, so that's before first light through to about 9, 10 o'clock, and then again on the water at about 4 o'clock. But if you're looking for something to do during the middle of the day, jigging yellows on the trees is really, really fun. So this rod is a 2 to 4 kilo. Um, it's also a Black Mamba TT rod, and that is a 7 footer. Um, the reel is an ITX 1000, six pound braid, and then just a 10 pound leader, which is plenty for those big yellows. One important thing to remember, um, always be aware of whereabouts you're actually fishing and the regulations, because some places like New South Wales, you're only allowed to have two rods rigged. So if that's the case, um, I'll have the rods in the boat but without the lure tied to them and then you know when the opportunity presents or when I need that different setup I can chop the lure off one, bring out the other rod um, and then I'm not going to run into any issues as far as breaking the laws in that particular state. So up the front here, um, got several different tackle boxes filled with all different sorts of stuff. So I've got one box here um, that's full of tremors. Um, it's got the different bibs, so I've got paddler bibs, wake bait bibs, also the diving bib. Um, so anytime I'm going to be fishing top water, I'm going to bring out the, the tremor box. Um, another box that I've got is I've got a big spinner bait box. Um, so I've got one ounce, three quarter ounce, and also some half ounce spinner baits in there, both twin arm and single arm. Um, I really like using the Z-Man plastics uh, on my spinner baits. Um, some people get a bit worried about uh, the plastics reacting with other bits and pieces in your tackle box, but I've always liked, doesn't matter what brand of plastic it is, to put my plastics in um, separate bags and that way they won't melt together. So that's a spinner bait box. Uh, I've got a swim bait box in here. So this is big hard swim baits in there. A um, few different types. I've got a box full of leader, so this is my leader bag, so I've got everything from 20 uh, pound up to 100 pound in both fluorocarbon and then also copolymer, which is the hard armour leader, so that's the soft inner core and hard outer core, which I really like using. A few little terminal boxes, um, so I've got uh, jig heads for running plastics with, spare hooks in a box. Um, Got another box here that's got spinnerbait blades, spare skirts, and also um, trailer hooks in there as well. Uh, I've got this box here, which is my weedless box, but that's got all the chin weights in there. Super important to have chin weights if you're going to be swim bait fishing so you can get that depth just right. What else do we have in here? I've got a box full of 
switch blades and the new switch prawn as well. Uh, we have got hunchbacks, smaller top water lures, got a whole box of them. Um, few, which other ones have we got here? I think the only other important one is probably I've got a box with just a small selection of crankbaits in there as well, which I don't use all that often in lakes to be tr uh, to be honest, but I think it's nice having them in there because the last thing you want to do is spend a lot of time driving somewhere and then not have the exact lure that you want to use on the day. So it doesn't take much room. You don't need to take a hundred of them. I've just got four different types, some dinos and an arashi. Um, and that way if I want to fish, fish a crankbait, I've got them in there as well. So this is what it looks like down in here. Um, just got my pack of containers all set out in a big tub and that way I can pull it in and out of the boat really easily. But I know I've got everything that I may come across the need for on the, on the lake for the day. And while we're down in here, um, my electric setup, I've got my batteries on charge at the moment, um, but I run 200 hour lithium 12 volt batteries um, and that's just, just for my electric motor. Um, and then I've also got a separate 100 amp hour lithium there for the active target. Um, I think it's super important to have those batteries separate. I hear it a lot from anglers about them running out of power when they're using their active target, not being able to start their boat motor and all that sort of stuff. So because I do lots of long range trips, I like to have everything totally separate. So my active target separate to my electric motor. And that way, you know, if one's flat, I can just um, swap the battery over, keep a couple of spare batteries in the van, um, and then I know I'm able to fish for long periods of time and not have, um, you know, one thing affect another. So this is dealing with the cod setup. So I don't like to use a net if I don't have to. Um, I just keep a pair of gloves so I can grab the fish's mouth. Um, and then I've also got uh, pliers, scissors, and split ring pliers they're ready to go as well so they're all very accessible and as soon as i hook the fish i know exactly where everything is um, super handy i know it's a very simple thing but you can just stick those to the floor of your boat and when you're cruising around they don't move anywhere so up the front here i just run an 80 pound uh, min coder electric motor 24 volt one 90 percent of the time i'll be using the pedal um, and then I've just got my active target set up there too. Um, I run my HDS 12 screen up the front here um, and then I can also swap it over for when I need it for navigation which is only really running um, up the lake and back at the end of the day when the light's low so I can have it at the back there as well. Just gives me a bit of option. So I've got a couple of uh, jerry cans, 20 litre jerry cans of fuel there and then also my main tank which is about 25 litres usually I'll get about 60 k's um, out of the 50 horse Merc um, out of 25 litres so I know with that amount of fuel I've got a really good range and I can go wherever I want whenever I need to so fishing first and last light you're always going to be starting and finishing in the dark so one of the best things I've ever bought was a handheld LED spotlight um, and this is a 12 volt rechargeable one so it plugs into my um, accessories and I can charge it back up whenever so I know that I'm never going to be without light and this is super good versatile for being able to you know work out where the banks are where the trees are when you're cruising along rather than having a fixed light on the front of my boat which is only good for using while I'm driving um, the other very important item is a really good headlamp um, I spent quite a bit of money on this headlamp, but it was money well spent because it's very bright, um, but you can also dull it down. So it gives you the best of both worlds. Without a doubt, one of the most important things, particularly if you're going very fast at night, um, early morning when it's really cold, is to always wear your life jacket. I always wear my life jacket because there'll be that one time that you fall in the water, it's happened to me before, um, and you feel so much safer with a life jacket on there. It will absolutely save your life when it comes time. So there's a bit of a rundown of the things I like to use while I'm out on the lake chasing big cod. Hopefully you got a few pointers out of it. I'll catch you next Tech Talk.